Hey guys, uh, doing a live uh, Thursday. Uh, sometimes I make them on Thursday, but uh, this is Clint's bike, and I want to talk to everyone about what happens and some of the the things that can go wrong when it, some people or Clint wanted to change the baffles and have some ideas, and things change, and you can go the long way around trying to make power or make something for the street or make something suit your needs. So. Always talk to APL first about what you're going to do and make sure we get all the parts right. That's the parts of the exhaust, manifolds, uh, compression bores, exhaust. I'm going to talk about exhaust on this one. but um, And where it's short fall before and then we just we were easily be able to pick the power back up when we do things our way. But as you can see, that bike's a grunter. And, uh, uh, when when this bike come to us, well, first time it had the Vance and Hines standard baffles. Sorry, a bit ugly looking, but that's them. Uh, they're okay. They'll work up to about 150. Uh, but though some they ha they're a bit conflicting sometimes, and I prefer the freedoms if we're talking about standard baffles in a in a mo in a two and a one exhaust. It's got Benson Hines two and a twos in it. Uh, Clint slipped these in quiet baffles, uh, but they smashed too much power out of this bike, and uh, he didn't like. It actually grunted really well. The bike before had a 130 foot pounds of torque before, which isn't bad. That's not a for a 128 inch engine, right? So. Uh, you know, but 128 and these small baffles is a really big effect and causes a lot, lot of problems. Uh, we got rid of all them because he just went out the end, got to a point where Clint said, oh, I want to make heaps of power now. I'm on this thing going hard. Uh, so just in that dyno run or just that accelerating on the drum there, you can see how much power and, and um, how quick it just gets through. Like now, if we look at this graph here, uh, the reds, greens before, reds after, right? So before we were starting off at 110, still not a bad engine. Uh, and then it, it sort of flattened out. The horsepower was low. It was 100 horsepower just over. But it was still a good bike. It wasn't a bad bike to ride with 100 horsepower because it had quite baffles, had a lot of torque. 128-inch engine, small cam. Uh, so we've got the small cam still in it, so we'd probably see better top end numbers if we had the preferred cam that APL use for this size motor and manifold and exhaust. But what I done, we made up uh, one of our race, did a race modification on this exhaust, made our own unique little baffle there. Uh, and where we situate that in the exhaust has a relationship with the headers. I spoke about this in a video previous, that was these exhausts. So just doing an exhaust, APL exhaust modification and a tune, this bike went from 100 rear wheel horsepower to 140 rear wheel horsepower on a small cam, big cubed, one of our manifolds. It went from 130 foot pounds of torque, not a lot of it, but it, there was moments of 130 foot pounds to 140 pretty much everywhere. So this bike you just seen on the on the dyno on the drum here how how much punch it has now. I'm really excited. Don't go the long way. Come and see us at APL. I uh, I know people want to buy stuff off the internet and someone says on a forum this, this is good and this and this and that. They really don't have this facility to prove or say anything. So always give us give the team a call and we'll we'll help you through this um and save us a lot of time instead of dyno on this thing twice and and um, doing things that aren't gonna work. So this bike works now. I'm excited to go ride it. It's a good outcome now. It's just a long way. Don't go the long way, just come straight to APL, get our software, get get connected with what, what we're doing because we're the guys racing and going fast. And if you wanna go fast on the street, you need to call the team. Thanks very much, have a good weekend.